Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Based on the time zones you all are coming from. Today, we are going to have a discussion on how exactly we can work with Power BI. So, our goal is to, dis to simply analyze the Power BI dashboard. So, here we are going to make use of a sales report and then we are going to analyze it by using the Power BI dashboard. So, here let's get started. So, Power BI is offered as a desktop application as well which can be downloaded as a community tool where we don't have to worry about any licensing whatsoever or we can you may use of power bi as a service which is offered as a cloud-based dashboard that we can go ahead and install directly so here we are going to set up the power bi desktop in one of the windows based vms and then we are going to start working on top of it so Power BI, as we know, is one of the most popular platforms for the BI analysis. Just like we have Tableau, we have Power BI. And this is a dashboard for Power BI where we can choose to get connected to multiple data sources. So for example, let's say here we can simply click on get data sources. So these are the most popular data sources that we can get connected to. Like we have the Excel workbook, we have SQL Server, Web, Text, CSV format. And in order to explore more data sources we can click on more and here we will be able to see more data sources available like we have for database for for getting connected to the azure platform then we have for online services and for other platforms here so right now we have all so here we can choose the excel workbook because that is what we are going to get connected to because we have our data stored in a simple csv format that we are going to get connected to so this CAC, this Excel file contains the data set which we are going to work with. And this data set is contains around 50,000 rows of data from different sources that we are going to work with. So here we already have the access to one sample file here so we can open this up as sample superstore report. So in a given sheet, if they have multiple files in a given sheet, if we have multiple files, or we can say a given workbook we have multiple sheets and they all are going to be imported as different tables they all will be imported as different tables so let's say here we have a global superstore where we have the sheets as orders then we have the number of returns so they all are going to be imported as different tables also all together and that's how we are going to have the access generated so Let's see how exactly we can set it up. So for that, we now if we are going to work on a system where we don't have MS Office installed, then we do need to have at least the Access Database Engine installed so that all the Excel files can be properly interpreted in case we don't have the <coughs> Office installed locally. So once we have that setup done, so we would be able to import this. Now the import the time required for importing the data that depends upon how many rows and how big the file is and also depending upon the vm configuration that we are currently working in so this file is currently being imported so here we are going to import the first table as orders where we are going to see the preview about the data if you want to have any kind of transformation done on the given data set then we can move on to transform data which is going to open up our query through which we can modify the given data set and then we can click on load so in this left sidebar we have the report section we have the data view and then we have the table view whereas towards the right we have fields where we'll be seeing the list of all the columns available in the given data set that we have connected to so here we can see here we have orders table and here we have these many number of columns available now to start with the analysis we can pick any data pointer so to create a graph of or we can say to create a visual out of any given data set we need to select at least one measure and one categorical data set here so for example let's say as a business use case we have to analyze the profit distribution of a company over the years so the company wants to understand how the profit has been distributed over the years for the given company so what we can do is we can simply select profit and then we can go ahead and choose the order date so whenever we choose any metric and the categorical data set we can see a graph of it, a visual out of it is already going to be created now this visual has been automatically chosen by power bi in case we want to get a different visual that should be created so what we can do is 
we can change the visual so here we have the clustered column chart we can convert this to the stat view chart here we can convert this to stat column chart or we want to convert this to line chart to a pie chart here so we can convert this the way we want now right now if we convert this to a line graph we can see there has been a uniform or we can say continuous growth in terms of profit for the year year after year so you can see there's a steady line so that means everything has been going smoothly now the company wants to understand about this in a better way so what we can do is we can simply analyze it further now the company wants to understand how the profit distribution has been on a monthly basis not on a yearly basis on a monthly basis so we can uncheck the year and the quarter component from the data table that we have here and now since we are looking at month and day distribution for profit so we can see now we have a different picture so although the profit seems to be in seems to have a steady increase throughout the years but if we take a closer look at how the profit has been distributed in a year then we have a different picture so we can see we have we start with us we can say not so great we can say a small increase in terms of profit from january to february but then we see a good spike and again a downfall from march to april again a small increase then again a small downfall from may to june and again a steep downfall from july and again we start seeing an increment till september with september is the highest peak and then followed by again a downfall and then we see the highest peak again in december so again since current data is for four years so we can see the collective result for four years now we want to see the results for individual years we want to see the results for individual results for individual years and what we can do is we can go ahead and simply make use of legends so now based on the data pointer selected and based on the visual selected we'll be having different properties available in power bi that we can work with now to bifurcate this on a year by year basis as a part of a complete growth what we can do is we can simply choose let's say here we have years so now we want to see the details for this on a year by year basis as well as on and that to being displayed as a legend so we can simply drag and drop here and in the same visual we have a field called as legend so the moment we drop it we can see we have the different legends being created for different years so here we simply have to drop drag and drop here into the legend section so in case you have missed it we can cross this so we can simply drag and drop here in the legend section and then we will be able to see the graph getting generated as we speak here so you can see here we have the graphs being generated one after the other and that's how they are going to be represented so now we can have a better insight given to the company okay how their profit has been distributed and that to on a year by year basis and based on the requirement we'll be having different type of visuals for example right now we want to analyze the company wants to understand the profitability of different shipment mode so here we can define profit and shipment mode so as you can see here the company got the best profit or we can see highest profit was observed in the standard class then followed by second and then 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 followed by first class and the lease was offered on the same day shipping same way we want to present profit and that too based on different segments so you can see now if here we want to present okay which segment got us the best amount of profit so here we can see here we have the segment so we got 46 percent of profit registered from consumer then we got the we got 21 percent of profit from home office and then we got 32 percent profit from the corporate sector same way we want to again bifurcate profit based on the subcategories here so now if you want to present this as a part of better report so we can use tree map we can use the pie chart so we can we can have a better understanding how different sections were reported so that we can give a better insight of the company that okay this is how the entire profit has been bifurcated this is how it has been distributed so that we can take up actions accordingly that's how it is defined so there are multiple things in power bi that we are going to learn as a part of our journey so that means how exactly we can create the reports and again if we are going to push the reports we are also going to view this in the browser that means in the power bi service as well so how to integrate the power bi service how to go ahead and make sure that we do have the access to all the reports how we can create a complete paginated reports how we can work with power bi visuals 
So again, these all things are what we are going to talk about in our journey on Power BI as we move forward. We can simply define the Power Query as well. So here, if we want, we can simply navigate to the data view where we can see all the data that we have the access to. And we can start with the with editing the table as well in case you want. For example, let's say here we want to start with the power query. So we can now here we are also going to look at how we can transform data by going into the power query editor, how we can perform different operations on the given data that we have the access to. So these all things are what we are going to cover as a part of our discussion as we move further. And here we had discussed on how we can create, how we can solve a simple problem statement of finding the proper distribution as per the year. We do have multiple map regions as well that we can make use of. So for example, here we want to see the sales distribution based on the country, based on the cities that we have. So again, we can simply use it. And then we have a field map that we can make use of, which is going to give us an insight of the current matrices that we have chosen based on the map that we have selected so we are done with the topic that we had planned for today everyone and first of all a big thank you to you all for being a part of today's session and have a great day ahead